will learn how to fill the giant balloon with air. So first thing, what we need to get ready is decide which color you like, gold or black. So for the gold one, you realize that there's actually two balloons. There's a black one inside it. Don't worry, leave it as is. Because this black balloon will ensure the gold balloon is 100% opaque once you blow it up. So don't worry about it. Other things we need to get ready is glue dots, the ribbon included, rubber band, measuring tape to ensure the desired length that we'd like, and a pump. I'll be demonstrating how to use the hand pump and an electric pump. What you can do at home, we would not recommend using your mouth even if you have really big lungs because it's a very exhausting task and we just generally do not recommend you doing that. What you could do, um, if you have any bike pump lying around at home, you can use that. Or you can um, go online, go on Amazon, you can easily buy a hand pump. We will include the link for both the hand pump. Or if you want to make things extra easy and convenient for you, opt for an electric pump. Um, it doesn't cost a lot, but if you have many future uses for balloons or kids parties, which you might have because you have a new bundle of joy, then you can opt for an electric pump. We'll include the link both below. It's not sold by us, but it's just for your convenience. So, there we have it. First step, we will insert the confetti pieces into it. For the convenience of this, I'll say we're having a boy. So with this demonstration, let's try the gold balloon. So the key to in inserting the confetti in a non-messy way is to not get greedy. Trust me, I've made that mistake to grab it little by little and bit by bit every single time. We have made this balloon with extra wide opening, so it's pretty easy and convenient to fill. And just shake it to the bottom, to the balloon ball, to make sure all the contents are in here. So now we have all the confetti filled in this beautiful gold balloon. What we do is we pump it with a hand pump or a electric pump. When inflating the giant 36 inch balloon, make sure we use the pump, hand pump, bike pump, to insert it as far as we could into the balloon neck. And because of the extra wide opening, we just have to make sure to hold this, wrap the balloon mouth around the pump and hold it very tightly as we inflate it. Other than a hand pump, we can also offer an electric pump to make things extra easy and convenient for you. Just like using a hand pump because of this um, extra wide opening, we want to make sure the way that we fit it is as far as um, we can into the bowl and also um, make sure we pull up the black one so it doesn't slide inside the gold, gold one while you inflate it. So just make sure you wrap the balloon mouth around the nozzle and there we go. While we inflate it, you can find someone to help you measure the balloon diameter, the longest side, to reach 34 inches. The reason for that is that we don't want to fill it up all the way to 36 inches is to prevent accidental popping because we want to make sure everything goes perfectly for your gender equal party. There are two ways to do this. Number one, you can put two chairs back to back um, against each other and measure the space between those two chairs to 34 inches and put the balloon between it while you inflate. Or here's a second method just to get a helping hand. You can find a handsome guy or a pretty lady to help you measure the longest side of the balloon to reach 34 inches. So once you've inflated it, twist the balloon a few times. There we have it. Have your elastic band ready. Just like how you tie anything or your ponytail, we tie it around. There we go. It's tightly secured as you can see. So now that we've inflated this giant balloon, the next step is to hang it up. So we turn it upside down with the confetti inside. And the next step we just need to get ready is blue dots and the two ribbons that are included in the package. So what we do is that we hang both ribbons, one on each side of the end of the balloon. 
We attach two blue dots on each side of the ribbon, stick it like this. We attach it there. And once it is attached on both sides, we wrap two ribbons around the balloon mouth, and then we can hang out to any surface or ceiling with like. So we're going to do a close-up of this so you can see exactly how we do it. So now we have um, the ribbons ready. What we do is we first work on one ribbon, get the glue dot, and stick two glue dots on each side of the ribbon. So we first measure how we want this to be. We just have to make sure we stick one on here, stick one on here. As usual, with the glue dots, we remove the white protective layer and we leave it here. So it depends. Sometimes we remove the um, transparent, sometimes we remove the white surface depending which one sticks more. So we easily peel this layer off as you can see and I'll put one more here before I stick it on the balloon because what I once I stick it it's very hard for me to take it out again and it will usually rip the balloon off. So we recommend sticking it on before you stick it on the balloon. Now that we have included two glue dots we stick it onto the balloon. This will be secured. We do the same thing to the other side. Now you can see that both sides have been secured with the glue dots. So we have both hanging sides. To be extra safe, I would recommend tying both ribbons around the balloon neck. Just creating a simple and quick knot. So we do a cross around it, just like any knot that we would do. We pull this back up. fasten it. So now we have a quick knot and we can tie this to any surface. Final step left is to hang it up. So if you're doing it indoors, you could hang it onto any ceiling or the easy way is also to do it with 3M hooks if you have any. If not, you can also do it outdoors and just hang it up easily to any tree branches. After that, prepare needles or sharp scissors for the final popping moment of the review. And um, yeah, just get your cameras ready and enjoy the popping.